never played an instrument before, you couldn't choose better than a ukulele to start your journey with playing an instrument. Technically, it's not that hard to get going. Um, you can learn five chords even within the first half hour of ever picking up the instrument. Just quickly, ways to hold the instrument. The main thing is make sure you've got it elevated and against your body. You can use a strap or things like footstools to help elevate the instrument. What I like is that my right hand is sort of over my heart. The instrument's on my chest against my heart. You get a bit of the resonance through your body too, which is really nice. Now, the right hand, we don't have to be super complicated. In fact, with students, I like just purely the thumb, keeping the thumb straight, down strokes towards the top string. And let's just try doing four strokes in time. I'm just playing on the fleshy part of my thumb here. Keep the thumb straight. And try and strike the strings lightly and all together at the same time. We can also add in what's called the upstroke, and that's with the back of the thumb. Now I'm striking just the top two strings, so I don't have to get all four. So get comfortable with that. Um, repeat it four times, down and up. Then the ups. Combine them. It's really good to get comfortable with your sounding hand first. Uh, when I started on guitar, I was forever watching left hand on guitarists doing all the flash, Angus and all of that. But it's really the right hand is the best place to start because that's your timing, it's your voice. So once we've got the thumb nice and steady, we can start looking at the left hand. And here's where it's a lot of fun on the uke. Even uh, with just one finger, you can get your first chord sounding. This seventh chord. Now, a bit of orientation. The first finger, the left hand goes, index is one, two, three, four. That's the symbols you'll see in the books. The part of your finger that you want to put on the string, get it up near the nail as m close as you can. Of course, with string players, nail short in the left hand, longish in the right. So it's just up here that I place on the string. Now these wires are called frets and they help us uh, with placement of the fingers. So the uh, frets go one, two, three, and so on. We're going to focus on the, just the first three frets. And strings, four, three, two, so the first chord, the seventh chord, I've got my first finger on the first string at the first fret. By the way, um, with the thumb, it's good to keep the thumb straight. Uh, often, no one ever talks about the thumb. You don't get it on uh, cymbal chords a lot. Best to keep the thumb straight. Try not to bend the joint. That just creates a lot of extra movement that doesn't really help you get to the chords quickly and easily. The way I orientate my left hand, imagine your left hand is uh, straight, flat. Bring the thumb up, directly up like this. And then the middle finger Bring it over to the thumb, and you'll feel there's a bony bit on your left hand thumb. That bony part goes on the back of the neck. So your thumb becomes a constant 
pivot for the other fingers to work against. 